Courtney Feely Karp's now seven year old daughter was born premature, facing medical battles and hospital stays her whole life. But when she was old enough to start in Boston public schools, she thrived. She started that school nonverbal, using a walker, using leg braces and is now a flourishing, you know, student. With the Delta variant, Feely Carp and a coalition of parents are concerned for their children's health, many too young to be vaccinated. We have real questions as parents about what it would be the safest option for our child. And we view this as that remote learning would be. Last week, Governor Charlie Baker said remote learning isn't an option. Instead, schools across the Commonwealth are taking steps to keep students safe. Schools are safe places for children. They're safe places for staff. They're safe places for families to send their children on a daily basis. Massachusetts schools are using a test and stay program. If a child could have been exposed to the virus, they're given a rapid test in school. If it's negative, they can return to class. The student would, you know, just do this, quickly get it out of the way and, and get back to learning as quickly as possible. But some parents, like Courtney Feely Carp, hope remote learning would be an option. We want our child's seats held. We don't want to have to be forced to choose between our child's safety and a, a hard-earned spot at a school. Now, education officials say if a student were to test positive for COVID and have to quarantine, they could be sent home with work or do remote learning if possible, saying that decision would be made would be up to the district.